Hi, hi. It's Yvonne. It's Tuesday. Sale day at the Ark. I was just going to pop in real quick. I'm on my way. Hang on. I'm on my way down to the booth because if nobody took that free showcase, I got to do something with it. You're only allowed three days in the little side aisle. I haven't even taken off my coat or my purse. I was just going to do a quick run in because it's a sale day. But going through the Easter stuff, I keep finding cute stuff. Three Annalise so far. This cute bunny book. And that little vintage thing. So I'm like, okay, let's slow down. You got time. Let's film while we're here for my YouTube friends. I think I already have one of these for personal. $249. Ah, I kind of like it though. I'm, it's, it's, I was going to switch out my little foyer winter animal scene but guess what it was supposed to be 50 degrees today but it started snowing so I'm like okay we'll leave it up for one more day that's cute too it's just picking up some last minute things we're really looking for a fixture but might as well pick up a few things see if I can find some cute little two dollar add-ons and giveaways but I want it to be vintage or just super kitschy cute that's okay but it, you know if it's Dollar Tree <laughs> but I'm gonna look carefully because I keep finding Anna Lee so I'm like what is up with that $1.99 and it comes with the flocked bunny that's what I want is the flocked bunny so we better go through this carefully huh the Anna Lee's were marked up a little bit but still good enough deal I mean, they were marked up to like $8 and not a sale tag. They're just now coming out, but I'm not going to leave them behind. There might be more Anna Lee in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Little rings. Okay, I'm going to throw that in the cart there behind me and we'll look into that a little more closely. These bags are really cheap. Just looking to see if there's anything vintage tucked in them or anything kitschy, kitschy cute. Okay, I think I already went through that one. Lots of cuteness, but you know, I don't want it to be just garage sale chic or, or Walmarty. If it's super kitschy, I'm okay. And if it's like this, like a um, artisan, not artisan, help me, hobbyist piece, you know, beginner, I'm okay as long as it's kitschy cute. Because you know why? That makes them one of a kind. Dang it. <laughs> okay, I need both hands for a minute. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. I kind of like this too. That's probably like big lots or a little too big for Dollar Tree. Although the Dollar Trees have added higher price sections. But I'm not crazy about the hat. I know that's new, but it's kind of kitschy, right? It would look cute in the booth. Need a few things to decorate with as well to do my part with other vendors. Oh, I think I see a little 80s thing. What is that? Have a daffodilly day. 149. Oh. I might get that too. I'll look it over here in a minute. I might get that. That'd be a cute little giveaway, right? I need some giveaways for you guys for tomorrow. I think we can get them. But you know, tomorrow is the first Wednesday of the month. So Jeremy and Michael the thrifting twins are coming over. They're excited. I'm excited. We only get together once a month. But, you know, I mean, we talk in between. I like the muted colors on that. Hmm. Can't tell if that's older or not. So hard these days. Because everybody's making things look kind of vintage. <laughs> little erasers 
<laughs> but still, I'm gonna get them. I'm just gonna put one in your guys' goodie bags because you could just use them, you know, stand them up. Anyways, I think if we hurry and get stuff out, we might can get you your stuff before Easter. So you can use your little goodies. Oh, animation. Oh my gosh, I still have a VCR. Well, 99 cents, would be 50 cents. I'm gonna get that for myself. What it is, is I've got this combination, VCR, DVD, whatever, so that you can take old VCR movies and um, transfer them. So that's cool. You know, take your old stuff and transfer it to um, be able to watch it CD-ROM or whatever. Or just watch them straight up. Yeah, I'm going to buy anything that's a really cute and good deal for at least thank you gifts for you guys. Oh, I like this. This might be what I decorate with. How much is that? Uh-oh, that's fiber optic. I'm going to get this because I've got a fiber optic thing in my house. And I could just switch that out for next week. Make Steve giggle. It's in the kitchen. <laughs> my kitchen has a lava lamp. <laughs> a real lava, a real vintage lava lamp. The ones I used to sell. And, uh, oh, that's adorable. I don't know if that's old because you know what when you go to the Dollar Tree sometimes they have things like this but it's cute $1.99 I like it I want it I don't know what I was blabbering about a second ago but <laughs> you guys know I just chitter chatter um, to keep the music at bay so you guys oh, oh I see something cute okay yeah I'm gonna take my purse off that looks not vintage. Maybe a hobbyist, please. $7.99, though. Because I'd rather it be a hobbyist than something that came from Walmart. I can't pay that much, though. I better get down there and look what they've got hidden in the bottom. See, look at that. There's a little bag of bunnies. <laughs> oh, I think they're soap. This is kind of interesting. I'm not sure what they are. Those are little felt eggs and bacon. And then little plates. There's no information on the box besides... There's no information on the box besides 16 bacon and eggs. <laughs> then here's some cards with felt seaweed and sand. And then a bunch of little fishies. So, I just guess you decorate that paper. Um, I don't see envelopes. I don't know what that one is. Happy birthday. This one's cute. Photographer. And then all the little fuzzy peoples. That one's funny. I might get that one. And then here are some pawn cards cardstock felt and then these little ceramic frogs yeah frogs and toads <laughs> there's strawberries yeah those are strawberries this is watermelon <laughs> with seeds I guess they're cards Watermelon. Okay. Some kind of old timey thing. That one's funny. It's got all the peoples. I might get that one. And a lenticular smiley face folder for me for 99 cents. Well, I grabbed a box. They always have boxes for us. And uh, I realized I didn't show you guys the Anna Lee. I decided to put those books back. 
they're four dollars a piece um, they let me have this for 99 cents and we'll see if it fits okay so here's the Anna Lee <laughs> this one not quite as epic but it was only 2.99 this one still has the tag on it was 7.99 these are still new with tags so there's a little bit of room left 7.99 mainly you know you just don't want this stuff to get lost or broken or go to waste all right i'm going to stop at new horizons real quick and then down to my booth before they close okay everything was fine at the booth someone did take that case well a few people said they wanted it so everything's fine so now i'm at new horizons let's check the easter aisle or easter section again real quick see if they added anything cute for us pick up some last minute things like i said like i just did at the other one i sure wish that had the mate to it okay i can't see i don't think they've added anything else you guys to the easter section all right let me turn around and get started on hard goods well already i think i see something live love bark 2.99 and yellow is half price that looks like a yes This one is usually stuff is such good prices. Hit or miss on selection, but if you find something, most likely the price is going to be pretty good. She's. What is that? I think I kind of want that. Save it for next Christmas. Not terribly vintage, but a little vintage. Baby Jesus. So funny. Always missing from nativity sets. Hmm. Not quite there for me. They've been stocking from the weekend just yet. Looks a little sparse. It's hard to say because everybody's like screaming for help. Oh, this is personalized, but look at that. Mushrooms and an owl for 79 cents. We'll forgive the personalization. Someone will still probably want that. like Dollar Tree type stuff or big lots these vases pretty much look like floral vases well nothing to get too excited about there wait a minute I do like cotton stuff let me see what condition and price these are. I like these things here. 79 cents, yeah, I can tidy that up for 79 cents, right? I like that stuff. Let's see what's happening here real quick. They're gonna close soon. This looks straight 80s, 90s. Yeah, Emma Brenneman, 1991, it says. That's a little hand painted. That is very 80s, 90s. $3.99. I'm kind of tempted by it. Might be a bit early. As far as the 80s and 90s stuff, I'm kind of leaning more toward um, like Art Deco type, Art Deco Revival type. That is pretty though. I don't want to touch it because it's real painting. It's 
It's only three ninety nine though. My goodness. You can't buy everything just because it's cheap. You do have to be mindful because it can add up if it doesn't sell. Well, it's looking uneventful. Probably here too early. I was just here a few days ago. They need time to restock. Locking showcase. Okay, I don't need one, but I'm just curious. $24.99 because it's missing the top. This thing here is only $2.99. It's just a little folding stool. And I'm going to get that and just hide it in my booth for when I'm in there working a lot. I have a place to sit down if I want to, right? So let me grab me a few of my favorite Amish food things and my favorite popcorn, of course. Yes! Cinnamon pecan roll. And I might get another jar of pickled okra. It's only $3.99. Peeps, yep, but it is that time, isn't it? So I spent a grand total of nine dollars. Popcorn is three something. That stuff was super cheap. I'm pretty excited about that. Let me go to the grocery store and then tomorrow I'll film and I'll add to this. Okay, you guys. So I'll it'll be tomorrow, but three seconds for you guys. <laughs> you know what? Here's a better idea. I'm home now, and here's what I bought at the Goodwill I mentioned earlier, the one by my house where the music's always so loud. <laughs> I'm just on the floor, you guys. And I thought, well, I can just show what I got there. So if you guys won't, don't mind a little ruffling, I'll show you what I got at the Goodwill. This beautiful kind of milk glass cake stand. I'm not sure i haven't looked up whose this is but it looks pretty vintage right i'm it's pretty cool and let's see it's mixed in with some of the other stuff oh i picked out some more tea for you guys so this go around is going to be pomegranate blueberry and uh kai i see <laughs> and uh supposed to be good antioxidants and things like that um flavored green tea so that's what will be coming in your little thank you packs and I got two pieces of Vernon Ware. Now, this doesn't sell for a whole lot. Let me turn it around. There it is. Vernon Ware, made in USA. And I have the matching pitcher wrapped up in here. Okay. It was $7.99. It's in really good shape. I think the pitcher sells for, I think average, average right now, I think the pitcher sells for about 20 to 25. And I can't remember the name of the pattern. I'll pop it in here when I'm editing. But because they were serving pieces, that felt okay. And I got a little sign. I'm just going to put that in my booth, but not for sale. I like that. And let's see. Some shelf liners. These are really kitchen mats, I believe. Sink mats, yeah. <laughs> they were like a dollar something. You guys saw that from the other store. Let me try to be careful here. What is this that? This is missing a top, but it was like a dollar seventy-nine, and it was made in Italy by Hathaway. I just thought it was cool. I'm going to try to save it or upcycle it. It's got some cloisonne or enamelware, I should say, flower, light pink airbrushing. Underneath there it says Hathaway made in Italy. Something's in there that I couldn't get out. <laughs> but I'm going to upcycle that. I just wanted to save it. And then this cool thing. have no idea. I just asked if I could have it out of a cart coming in so I haven't even worked with it get that tape off there before it's too late so some of this you guys will know before I do and this it's not Pyrex of course or anything but it's Hazel Atlas and I got 15% off of it they don't sell for as much as Pyrex but it's in really good condition so I didn't want to leave that behind and one more pretty cool piece. This is a framed Eva Schonberg um, silhouette, cutout silhouette. 
and that's worth a little bit. Now it's in a more modern frame. I paid $5.99. The frame says made in China, but that's older. Really pretty. All cut out and then on top of that vanilla paper. And there's the name again. So that's what I picked up there. I don't think there, this is a butterfly scarf. I don't think there's anything else. I need to be careful. Oh, there is something else. What is that? Oh, <laughs> this is probably brand new from Walmart or who knows where. But just, I just want it for, you know, Easter coming up. Either to set out for Steve for his coffee that particular morning. So you guys see all this behind me. This is going to the booth. This is a, that vintage, almost antique bar cart. And I've got a mess on top of it. And that's my Blanco I kept. I sold the other two. Those are my Noritake Perspectives. And you've seen the epic Easter Bunny that's getting ready to come out. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. So ignore my mess. I'm working. And uh, there's Steve's donkeys. Some things my mom wants over there so I can remember. And I told you guys, I'm not opposed to buying a broke piece if it's awesome. It had a broke leg. That's the one I've been talking about sometimes. You can't tell because I stuck it in a plant. <laughs> Sorry, when I giggle, it makes the phone. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm going to get ready for the sale tonight. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.